we're going to find a volume generated by rotating a region and we're going to start by sketching the region so this is just a y equals sine x so that's the standard sine graph our x values are going from 2 pi to 3 pi so I'll draw one period of sine of course one period of sine stops at 2 pi and we're going to draw another half period of sine which just goes like that there's 3 pi uh, we're not using the first part of this so we're going to ignore all that part on the left y equals 0 that's going to be the x-axis so we can already see this is the region we're going to use we're rotating about the y-axis so I'm going to draw that rotation right there now we can choose if we want to go disk method rotate this around the y-axis you get a disk or shell method or cylinder method we're going to use the cylinder method because it's this hollow shape so I'll draw what this rotates into now anytime you draw a really short and wide cylinder it's going to look a bit strange so let's go ahead and use uh, we use red there's our cylinder so we have two measurements we have a height h now this is going to be a dx integral because with the way I drew the cross section we have to change our x coordinate to cover the entire region so that's how it's going to be an x integral which means your height is a function of x and your other measurement which is the radius also a function of x so it's big minus small all right big function is going to be the one on the right which is going to be x it's your current x coordinate small we got the y-axis which is going to be zero so this is just r of x equals x h of x also will be big minus small all right now the big is that curve on the top which is sine x small is the horizontal line on the bottom which is y equals zero so that's just sine x uh, we have our circumference 2 pi r times the height we integrate that from a to b and this is our volume a and b is going uh, 2 pi to 3 pi uh, you could bring the 2 pi out front uh, the r function r of x is x uh, h of x is just sine x dx this is again integration by parts because we're in the integration by parts chapter you want to take a derivative of x because the derivative of x is 1 and an antiderivative of sine x so you have u dv so your u will equal x dv sine x dx and use integration by parts formula and that should get you the answer